Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1018 for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2010. Siemens Giga Set 1. The Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to Audible.com slash Gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. It's the middle of the week, hump day. We also call it Team Free Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I don't have a Wednesday song, really. I could sing the Monday song over again. No! It's Wednesday. Team Free Wednesday, the show you cannot hump. There's no way. The day when there's no theme. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Team Free Dickie D. Hey, Dick. Leo, how you doing? Well, great. Happy uh, happy Wednesday to you. The same to you. It is, uh, is it winter or is it summer in uh, in New York? Leo, I can't we remember. we are having the most bizarre weather. Uh, I, I asked on Twitter that we need a new term like global flamuxing something. Because Monday, <clears throat> it almost equaled the record of 60 degrees. Today it is forty, and by Friday the high will be twenty eight. Twenty eight. So wow. Twenty eight will be the high, so, and I believe it's going to be sixteen at night. Jeez. I know it's just. I mean, I've never seen such weather swings of Doctor, twenty. Doctor Mom says it's climate verblungit. Yeah, that's it for blung <laughs> for blunging blung for blunging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course the Yiddish have a word for it. <laughs> yes, why do we think otherwise? Why Why wouldn't they? They knew global warming would be coming, and they were ready with a word for it. They were. Or they blogging. were. Yes, yeah, so it's bizarre. <clears throat> and you're still having rain out there? Yeah, we had, boy, uh, you know, it's an El Nino for us. Oh, the wind. Yeah. So El Nino, I think, has something to do with ocean currents and the direction that they go. And, uh, uh, you know... Uh, if the if the ocean current warms up and migrates, um, there's a that's like a five year cycle of this. Then we get more storms, and then and then it goes the other direction, and then we get you know fewer few, less rain. We get drought, but it's only like in a certain month, isn't it? It's well, not like well, we only long, get rain. It? Yeah, we only get rain in November through uh, maybe March or April, maybe May. So there's El Nino, which is the boy. Because it happens around right. Christmas time, and then there's La Nina, and that's uh, the girl, and I think that has to do with fish, like the fish. When fish are, come on land, the, it's no, it's the fish stocks are more abum, abundant during La Nina. Oh, Nina-ia. okay, okay. Yeah. That's periodic warming in the uh, Pacific. Anyway, so as the surface temperature changes, we get we get more rain, and we are really getting El Nino storms the last few weeks. It's just been, I can't wash my Mustang. I know that you don't that, have to, a, do you? A, well, it's dirty. You know, you know it's, it, it's doesn't isn't the rain enough to clean it? No, do you like no. you actually? You don't really wash your own car, right? No, I have people who do that. Oh, I was gonna say D- Dane does. That. <laughs> he does it as a you know just as a because he loves me as a personal service. He just goes out there. I love. He puts a little short shorts on. It's very cute. Nice. You should <laughs> put that on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bring it to the car washer. In fact, I bought a uh, a, a ten wash pass. It only nice. costs fifty percent more if you buy it in the pass, but the convenience is worth it. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm really happy about that. When yeah. they explained that to me, I said, oh, "I'll take that for sure." Well, only- you know what? Just throw your dirty laundry all over the top of it, and you can oh, like multi wash, or leave the windows open. I could just put them in the back seat. You know what? Put the staff in there. Get them all washed they, at one time. That's not a bad idea. Not that's not bad. a bad idea. I should threaten them with that. <laughs> if you guys don't bathe more often, I'm going to take you to the car wash, run you through. Thank I do that with that. the kids when they were little. Yeah, well, try with the staff. Try with the staff. <laughs> so do you have a gadget for us on these Wednesdays? Uh, I do. Uh, it's from Siemens. 
S I E M A N S. Do you know that company? Yeah. Oh yeah. They uh, they're a German company. They do phone systems and. Uh, well, they're a big electronics giant, yeah. Excellent. Well, they have something new. It's been slowly rolled out, but now it's national and it's getting into the big box stores. And I think you're going to like it. It's a device called the Gigaset One. Now, I Gigaset know, I know their Gigaset stuff. That's great stuff. I, have a whole, oh, okay. I used to have a whole Siemens Gigaset phone system. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, what did your Gigaset do? Because maybe they just re-released it. It was what a, did you well. I think they've had the brand name for a while. It was a cordless uh, phone system. Oh, okay, um, okay, yeah. And it was just you know high quality cordless phones. Oh, you know I have one of their cordless phones. It, it was just they're beautiful looking. Uh, the, the the new ones that they have out. But the Gigaset One is a little box. So if you put like two packs of cards side by side, you'd get what the Gigaset. Uh, one looks like you can pair up to three Bluetooth cell phones to it. Oh, three? Wow. Three. Then you can, with the out jack, plug it into your landline at home. If the landline is active, that will become a fourth phone. If wow. the landline is not active, then when any one of your three Bluetooth phones rings... It'll ring every phone in the house. Holy cow. But each person's ring, depending on the cell phone, will ring differently. Oh, I need this. So you could, this is a family Bluetooth a kind of a thing. Exactly. So if it rings and, and you know, with a little booklet tells you uh, what ring matches, what light on, on the uh, Gigaset one. So, you know, that ring means that it's Jen's phone. And this ring means that someone is calling you on your phone. That is so And then if cool. you have a regular house phone, you can also just get calls on the landline. Oh, so it has landline as well. A landline as well, which you don't have to use if you don't want. If you just want to use uh, the three Bluetooth cell phones, you can do that. And it's 99 bucks. What? Cell phone <laughs> yeah. not included. Cell phone not included. But 99 is get, great. In fact, phone not included. You need a, do you have to have a Gigaset yeah, phone yeah, to all use you, this? All you do is you get the, the Gigaset one is you get the box, and I think there's some cables in there too, and the little AC adapter. But it's pretty neat. You don't have to use a Siemens phone, though, with this. It could work with any No, phone. No, no. They specifically uh, told me at CES, any landline phone that you have, uh, any cell phone that's Bluetooth enabled is fine. Basically, you're just uh, using their system to uh, transfer phones to a more convenient. That way, you just leave your phone. Especially, what, <clears throat> what this is really good for is if you have an area of the house where you, <laughs> your cell phone only works really good in that area of the oh, house. Oh, you could just leave the base unit there. Exactly. Just leave the cell phone there when you come home. Then get in, and answer all your calls throughout the house, wherever landlines are hooked up. And then in the morning, you take the cell phone and go on to work with it. So it also solves that problem with being able to get a cell phone call in remote parts of the house. As long as at one time there was a hardwired phone and you can still use that wire. This is, so a, this is a nice, I mean, we've seen others, Plantronics and others have done kind yes, of this exactly. hybrid thing. But uh, Siemens does right. good this stuff. Yeah, and this is the one, the first one I know of that you can do three cell phones, which in this day and age, three Bluetooth cell phones is not is that not, many. Uh, it's probably four in your home. In, right? in our house, there's four. I'd really need four for this to make sense. You know what? If you just tell your daughter not to come home, if she if Abby stays overseas when she goes to college, I can then get this thing. This is yes, because you know, and then, and then just say, you know, Abby, if you come home. You're not you're not hooking into this phone yeah. system. You left the country, pal. You gave up your Forget Gigaset One it. rights. Exactly. Forget about it. No rights for you. No Gigaset exactly. for you. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Now I don't know if there are any discounts yet, but there may be at some point. But when I looked before the show, it looked like everybody was still selling it for ninety nine bucks. But that's a, you know that's a, seems like that's a very affordable uh, price. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, all it's doing is it's a Bluetooth receiver, I guess, that connects it then into the phone system. It, right. You know what? You yeah. could. I wonder if you could use this with Skype with Voice over IP. Oh. Because their other Gigaset is kind of very focused on that. I have to take a look at that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just picked it up at CES. Okay. 
Hey, I want to mention our friends at Audible before we get to our letter of the week, if you don't mind. Not Audible is that great bookstore of the uh, internet where you can get any of 70,000 different books on all the topics, all the wonderful topics in the world. Fiction, nonfiction, science fiction, romance, self-help, business, tech. It's all there. And we want to get you into listening to audiobooks because I'll tell you, Audible has been such a boon for me. I've been talking about Audible since long before they started advertising with us because I was an Audible customer starting in 2001. I had a, a commute from hell. I used to go to Tech TV and back, and that was an hour each way at, at, on a good day, two or three or four hours on a bad day. Uh, and but but I didn't mind so much. The thing that took the sting out of it was listening to audio books, and I got so much reading done. Early on, it was cassettes, but when Audible came along, oh, I was so thrilled. First, used to listen to it on my Diamond Rio, one of the first MP3 players. Audible had their own device, and then as I've upgraded MP3 players, I've always had Audible. Of course, all the iPods. Now I listen on my iPhone. It works so well when I get in the car and it starts playing on the Ford, and I just, I just love it. I think you will too, whether you're a commuter. Or you go to the gym. When I'm on the treadmill, man, I'm listening to my Audible books. Or when you're working in a, at home in the in the garden or in the washing the dishes, let me get. I got a great book for you. I want you to go to. You get a free book by going to audible.com/gizwiz. Sign up for that gold account. That's one book a month, and I got a great book for you. I found this initially because I thought it. I thought, I thought my dog had written a biography. It's called I Am Ozzy. And I thought, boy, that dog, he's so clever. How did he find the time to do that in between digging in, you know, in the garden and barking at the birds here? But no, it's not that Ozzy. It's the other Ozzy. The one that was famous before my Ozzy was famous. Ozzy Osbourne. Can you imagine? Now, look, at Ozzy Osbourne, uh, a story of his life, it's only two hours and 55 minutes. You can't get Ozzy to sit down for too long talking about his life. But. Hey, if you're into Ozzy Osbourne, let me just listen to a little expert. Now, we're going to excerpt. We're going to run it. Uh, I'll have to run the bleeper on this one, I think. I think so. Knowing what, if you ever saw the show The Osbournes. Let's see, let's see if he's cleaned up his act here. He's not narrating it. Frank Skinner is. I went to Birchfield Road Secondary Modern in Perry Bar. Funnily enough, the only thing I got gold stars for at Birchfield Road was heavy metal work. I suppose that was because my dad was a tool maker and it came naturally to me. My favorite prank in heavy metal work was to get a penny and spend three or four minutes making now, it. Now, this is, this is Frank Skinner, who's, you know, I'm sure that's exactly what Ozzy sounded like before the drugs, sex, and rock and roll. And uh, you couldn't get, I think having Ozzy narrate it, it would be a, you know, 15-hour book because he's, you know, he's a little slow. Uh, sure, well, sure, it was uh, a 15 hour book and then when they took out the swear words yeah, maybe that's what's short just two hours. that's what's short Ozzy Osbourne of course the, the, the front man for Black Sabbath known for heavy metal rock and roll and then discovered by a whole new generation of that TV show the Osborne, Osbournes but I tell you one thing about Audible first of all they always get the greatest readers I mean they, they, that's a great reader for this book but also there's no you know no limit to the kinds of books you can listen to. I mean, everything's in here. Bestsellers, award winners, business. Oh, I want you to give it a try. You don't have to listen to Oz, Ozzy's latest. You can. There's a whole lot of different books you can listen to. Just go to audible.com slash gizwiz. Pick your free book. But do get that free book now because you're going to love it. And I have a feeling if you've got a commute or a, a, a workout plan, this is great for your workout plan. I love it. Audible is just a great partner for that. Audible.com slash gizwiz give them a try we we love it and uh, i just have a feeling that audible could be the perfect thing for you audible.com on your way to work on your way to school when you can't read a book don't be a fool get audible over fifty thousand books mm, audible i love my pot and all my cow get audible audible.com slash gizwiz give them a try somebody in the chat room saying we should uh I should have Ozzy write a book. Well, no, I'm Ozzy. <laughs> Here come the letters. Those lovely letters. Here come the kids with letters. Now. You know what? We don't know yet with the uh, tablet, if there is a tablet, because it's going to be announced tomorrow as we record this. I gotta think Audible will be on that tablet. I bet. I'm sure it will be. 
I'd be shocked if it isn't. If it's it not, you're going to do, you'll be there in San Francisco. Yeah. Just say, oh, Steve. Steve. Excuse, hello. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> you left something out. A little no, oversight, sure. Mr. Jobs. I, I'd be shocked if it's not. Let's get a uh, letter. A letter comes from Stefan Skimmerhorn, who writes, I've been a longtime fan of the show and always enjoyed listening to you and Leo. I don't listen live, but I subscribe to all the Twitch shows through iTunes. When I started listening to the Tuesday show, number 1007, for January 19th, I noticed something odd about Leo's intro. Uh-oh. Now, you know Leo has been going on about how it's 2010, or is it 2010? Well, I know it takes a bit of getting used to writing the new year, and some people are probably still writing 2009, but apparently Leo has lost an entire century. What? If you're listening to the audio download of show 1007, I say? you'll hear Leo intro the show by saying, this is episode 1007 for January 19th, 10-10. I say 10-10. 10 This is the uh, Dark Ages edition. Uh, uh, really? Exactly. I say 10-10? That's what he says. Oh, dear. I love listening to you guys. I look forward to hearing what gadgets Leo we will be tempted to buy next. You keep on keeping on, and I'll keep on being here. Oh, Stefan Schimmelhorn. Thank you. Well, I thank you for correcting me. We'll go right back <laughs> and uh, fix that immediately. Yes, exactly. Yes, and you download that again. Everybody has to download that episode again because we made an error. Well, you know, Leo, just say it now. Just say it properly now, and then people could just copy this out and then paste, paste it over. It okay, okay. That yeah. that would save me a lot of trouble. Yeah, it would. So yeah. just twenty. There, just paste that in over the tent. Oh, okay, that's good. Hey, I'm that's you know I'm a believer in simplicity. Why no, record good. the whole thing when I could just do that syllable? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Twenty. Exactly. In fact, if I should ever do that again, let's give you the whole year, twenty ten, and we'll just paste that in anytime you. Yeah, Tony, save good. that, because sometimes I say nineteen ten, eighteen ten. Sometimes I say nineteen twenty, twenty twenty. So just you know, let's have that twenty ten, and we can just paste that in the rest of the year. Wherever it needs to be. Don't you wish you could, uh, there was cut and paste in life? Or better that, yet, search and replace? Search and replace. <sighs> so cool. Or do over. Do over, yeah. an undo. We need command yeah. C, command V, command Z, and command X in life. Command that would C, be good. Boom, do over, command Z. Boom, boom, do over, or control Z. Do over. Yeah, oh, I like so that cool. idea. Yeah. I think a lot of people like it in courtrooms who go, oh, Your Honor, can I just do that part again? <laughs> do, do over. <laughs> Where I blurted it out that I did it. Can I just do that again? <laughs> <Can> we just... <laughs> Web's 80, uh, 6896 says, I need a Control-Alt-Delete. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. All right, Dick, we'll, let's, let's Control-Z this show, and we'll come back tomorrow. It'll be Thursday, and by then they'll have completely forgotten us. They'll never forget us. Never, but, never. <laughs> but I'll still be here. D-A-I-L-Y.